interfacing 4 into 1 keypad with Arduino. In this video, we will learn about 4 button keypad and how to interface with Arduino microcontroller. This keypad has 5 wires for connections. Let us see inside this keypad. After removing the back paper, we can see that one wire is common to all four buttons and each button has one wire for its signal. Let us check the wires through multimeter. We have set multimeter to test continuity and one lead is connected to common wire of keypad. Other lead is of multimeter is connected to wires from button. We can see leftmost button wire corresponds to button 2. Similarly, second left wire corresponds to button 1. Third left wire is for button 4 and fourth left wire is connected to button 3. We can note these details in a paper. Let us see our Arduino board. We can see digital pins marked from 0 to 13. 0 and 1 pins are for serial communication. We can use pins from 2 to 13 for digital input or digital output connections. At the other side, we have power pins and analog pins. A0 to A5 are analog pins. Power pins have reset 3.3V, 5V, ground and VIN. For our keypad connections, we will be using ground pin and digital pins 2, 3, 4 and 5. Common wire of keypad is connected to ground pin of Arduino. Button 1 wire is connected to pin 2. Button 2 wire is connected to pin 3. Button 3 wire is connected to pin 4 and button 4 is wire is connected to pin 5. Now we can con connect USB cable to power up and program the Arduino. Let us understand the code. I have written in notepad. We will later copy this code in Arduino IDE software. First we have defined the input pins. Button 1 is connected to Arduino pin 2. We have created an integer variable named button 1 and its value is 2 which is Arduino pin 2. Similarly, we will define button 2, button 3 and button 4. Next, we will initialize the button status. For this, we have created integer variable named button 1 state, button 2 state and so on. All the buttons are initialized to zero value means low state. We can initialize each button to high state also by putting the value to 1. In the void setup loop, we have defined the Arduino pins to input pull up. Actually, we can define digital pins of Arduino as input or output or as input pull up. Input pull up will bring the digital pin to high state logic when no signal is present at that pin. In this way, false signal at input pin is prevented. Next, we open serial port at 9600 baud rate for data communication.
in the void loop section first we read status of all button by using digital read command button 1 state is an integer variable and stores the status of button 1 if button 1 is pressed then pin 2 of arduino will receive ground signal and button 1 state will be low remember we have made ground signal as common in keypad switches similarly will be the case for other buttons next we will use if condition to check the button status and print the message for pressed button serial print line command is used to print message to serial port lastly we have used a delay of 100 milliseconds to read again in the loop section we will copy this code in arduino and upload it to see it's working we have copied the software in the arduino and we are uploading here see we have got the message done uploading and now we will open the cl monitor to see the messages when the button will be pressed here we have pressed the button 1 and we are getting the message now it is button 2 is pressed here same way button 3 is pressed and we are getting the message when we press keypad button tx led blinks because data is transferred to serial port as we have used print line function to print message using serial port